Hola amigos, bienvenidos a los Gonzayas 360. On this time I am going to explain my experience on the computer based exam on the IELTS. Welcome. Hi, if you are new on this channel, just let me explain you briefly who we are. My name is Axel. My wife's name is Anna. We arrived to Canada in July 2019. We are here to immigrate to Canada. She is on the university as an international student and I am working with my open work permit. The current field where I am working is in technological environment. We have the option to immigrate to Canada by the technological program pilot. I need my IELTS exam. And today I am going to share with you my experience by doing the computer deliver exam. The cost of the exam was 300 Canadian dollars plus the taxes. The three sections were completely the same. Just the only difference is that you are doing it on your computer. The speaking test is the same, face-to-face -face interview. The duration of the exam is completely the same as the paper based. 30 minutes listening, 60 minutes reading, 60 minutes writing, 10 minutes for listening. You don't have to count your words on the writing test. Also, if you want to copy all the sentences, this is going to be easier. On the listening section, the part that I like is that you have your own headsets. It's going to help you to hear better. You don't have 10 minutes on the listening part at the end of the section. It will automatically end after two minutes once the listening section has finished. You don't have official breaks. If you go to the bathroom while the exam is on, you will lose part of the duration of your exam. The indications are clearly stated when you arrive to the uh, IELTS Center. They completely tell you what is happening and what is going to be done on that section. Okay, so here this is a sample. This is not the real exam. I just want to tell you how it works. You will hear the listening test while I am changing the question, but this is not something that is going to happen on the exam. The listening is only heard one time. The format is like this. For example, in multiple choice, you have the option to see the questions while the listening audio is on play. You can select the questions and you can identify if the question number has been already answered. Once we click over there, it will change the color of the box. We have three answers that are available to select. Once we select them, we are done. We have the option of drag and drop. We have also the note completion. Reading section. You will have on the left the reading. On the right, you have the questions. It's the same as the listening section. At the bottom, you have all your answers and you can move around the reading section. One interesting thing is that you can select a sentence and you can highlight the paragraph or the sentence, the words. Also, you can, instead of only highlighting the, the sentence, you have the option to add notes in the case that you need it. Once the box is ready, you will see that you have answered the questions and you can go to the next one. You will see also that you have already answered it. You can also go back if you want. It's very simple to answer this answer sheet. It's not taking too much time. Basically, just you click and then you scroll on, up and down. And it's easier than on the paper base. You just fill the blank space and you won't have any problem. Regarding the format of the exam, and then we have one of the most important enhancements of the IELTS exam according to my point of view. We have the option to type uh, the writing section and you will see that while you are typing your uh, essay, you will see the count number that you will have at the bottom. You can also copy and paste and it automatically makes the count of the words. If you type something wrong, it won't automatically correct your spelling. You need to be very careful with this as the paper based exam. Section two, it's the same. You can copy and paste. Regarding the option that it's at the bottom left, it's called review. This is only to mark the questions that have an answer by you. So I have received my score. It took only one week to receive it on my email and two weeks to receive it on my house. Do you want to know what was my score? So my final level is B2, listening 5-5, five, five. reading 5, writing 6 and speaking 6.